Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on any unsupported hardware. As you can see I'm running Windows 8.1 Pro here. And this is an unsupported hardware but I'm, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on this laptop. Without any USB drive, without any bootable CD or anything. You can just install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware and bypass all the restrictions or requirements. So we have to go into our computer screen and let's get started. So here we are inside our computer now. The first thing we're gonna do is to let me show you whether my computer actually meets the system requirements or the minimum system requirements for Windows 11. As you can see, the uh, minimum requirements for Windows 11 we need at least a 64 bit PC or processor, we need at least a dual core 8th generation processor, which, which is the base clock of at least 1 gigahertz we also need 4 gigabytes of ram and a 64 gigabytes of internal storage it doesn't specify whether you have an ssd or a hard drive but you should at least have 64 gb of your internal storage for installing windows 11 you also need ufi boot which means you need a gpt boot and also secure boots you also need TPM, which is a touchscreen platform module, or TPM 2.0 version. You want at least to install Windows. Today, I'm just showing you how to install Windows 11 on those computers that didn't support Windows 11. But it's not going to work on 32 bit computers because Windows or Microsoft doesn't release any Windows 11 build for 32 bits. And most of your computers that you're using are 64 bit. If your PC is a 64 bit computer and you don't have dual score CPU, you don't have an 8th generation or later processor, you don't have 4 gigs of RAM, you don't have 64 GB storage, you don't have UFI boot, you don't have secure boot, obviously, you don't have GPT, you don't have trusted platform modules, no problem. You can still install Windows 11 from this method. And in this method, you also don't need any kind of USB drive or external. Uh, it's, it's, it's external USBs or CD drive or bootable CD drive to install Windows, you can directly install it. So let me show you how to do this. So let me first tell you, show you that this computer doesn't suppose to Windows 11 requirements. So first of all, let me show you my TPM situation. So TPM.msc. As you can see, compatible trusted platform module cannot be found. Means this computer doesn't have trusted platform module. And the second thing I want to show you is actually uh, UFI boot or secure boots. If you have an UFI boot, you should have GPT. If you are running legacy or older BIOS, you should have MBR. Let me first show you that as well. So right click on your Windows icon or logo and go to disk management. Here, right click on your disk that is your C drive, disk 0, and then click on properties, then go to volume, and here you can see master boot record MBR. What does it mean? I'm using an older version of older version of BIOS that doesn't support Windows 11, doesn't have UFI, doesn't have secure boots, it doesn't have GPT, it's just MBR. So also let me also one thing to notice here is actually my storage. I have just 40 gigabytes of storage. I don't have any other partition or anything I just have 64 I don't have 64 GB of storage as you can see I have just 40 GB of storage and Windows 11 doesn't support and cannot run on 40 GB but we will still install and for the RAM situation yeah I have 4 gigs of RAM thankfully but I don't have a dual core CPU I have as you can see 4 gigs of RAM but I actually have just a single core CPU but that's not that's actually 1 giga but it's just one core and you actually need two cores so I don't have second core to install Windows 11 it means and so now let's start installing Windows 11 on supported computers so the f you need to download two things first the software which will actually install Windows while bypassing all of the requirements and without using an external USB or CD and the second thing is obviously the ISO image file we need an ISO image file to install Windows and that which will be downloaded from the latest from, from the latest official Microsoft websites. So open up your browser. I will give all of these links in the description. So just click on the software. It also has uh, a paid version, but don't no need to purchase that paid version, just download the free version. Here I will just click on save. 
The second thing you need to download is the obviously the Windows 11 I ISO image file. I've also given a link in the description so you can download from there. Okay, you can download the Windows Lone Disk image file as you can see, it's just 464 bits. Just select the ISO image file, click on this, and then just click on download. And this file will also get downloaded as it is going, but I already downloaded uh, Let it complete first. So now it's done, and let me first show you I have Windows 1 ISO or not. Open up my file explorer because I have just 40 gigs of storage. Has a download folder, and there we go. Here we have the latest file that we just downloaded Windows 11 ISO image file and the software that we downloaded. So just double click on the software to install. Obviously, click on yes, then click on OK after selecting the language, leave it default. To English, click on I accept the agreement, then you click on next, 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 install. Simple. It's now completed, just click on finish. Here the software. Now the second thing, most important thing you need to do is to actually create a partition to store all of your backup files and your Windows 11 ISO file. That's a very important step. You have to do it. Without doing this, your computer won't be able to boot again. You need to create a small partition that will store a Windows 11 ISO file. And then also, if you want to backup some of your data on that partition, you can also do that. So as you can see, I have 4.4 gigabytes of Windows 11 ISO, so I would create Around five gigabytes of five gigabytes of um, partition. But if you have some more data you want to create backup, like you have your music, you have your pictures, you have your videos, you have in your downloads, documents folder, you can also copy all of those things to your um, new partition. Just create a new partition. Just right click on your Windows logo, then click on Disk Management again. And this time right now, you don't have to right click on your, your disk drive, you have to click on your C drive and click on shrink disk or volume. Now you have to give it some space, like it's just 19,852, 19, it's around 19 GB. So we have to change it one, actually one, one GB is equal to 1024 MBs for accurate. Let's first open up calculator. So one, we have to create a 5 GB of storage. So 5 GB multiplied by 1024. So just press enter and we need to create a 5120 drive space MBs. So 5120, okay? Note this, 5120. And I click on shrink. Here is you can see unallocated space now it has become 35 GB and we have got 5 GB more. Right click on this, click on the simple volume. Next, next, next. If you want to give, give it some other name, like I want to give it as backup. Okay. Okay. And finish. So sorry, so instead of P I have written O, but that doesn't affect anything. We have 5 GB of um partition now we have to open up browser or file store and here's the 5 gb of storage has been created so the first thing we need to do is to actually move this software or this sorry uh windows 11 iso cut it and then paste it in the backup folder or partition So now it's done copying and in this part in this partition whatever you are going to put the data that is not going to go anywhere or not going to delete and so windows 11 is not going to delete now we have set up everything so open up your win to hkd software click on yes 
close the tab it has opened in your browser click on ok now you have to click on reinstall windows then click on this i this search icon or source icon for your iso image file we have put it in, in the backup file backup of partition windows 11 selected and there we go all the versions that we want to install so i'm going with windows 11 home because i have windows 11 home license key or product key if you have windows 11 pro you can go with windows 11 pro but don't go with any other operating any version because you're going to face a bit of problems uh, i would suggest you to go with windows 11 home or windows 11 pro it depends upon you windows 11 home is actually a bit lighter than windows 11 pro just click on next then click on next don't touch anything here then click on yes now it's going to create a WinP image of the Haslow software because it's also going to be removed from the internal storage. So just it's creating a WinP image that will be able to install our files from the ISO file into the C drive. We have shifted back to our camera now. So the first thing we have to click on what is saying, let me first show you that all data is going to be removed on this partition that we have selected in our C drive, not in our D drive that we created. So what does it mean that all the data on the C drive will be deleted, not on this E drive. Why is it E drive? I'm, you might be saying why is it e, D drive? Because the E drive is my C D drive and I have E drive as my secondary partition. So click on you have to click on yes. Now we just have to click on yes. And then now it's going to restart as you can see. It's restarting now. Now it's installing, it's 0% and now it's said restart the computer when the operation is completed. So we have to wait for a few seconds to get it for it to complete. So just to give you a proof here, uh, as you can see I don't have any kind of USB drive attached. As you can see, no USB drive in here or no CD connected at this point. I can just show you that as well. As you can see, it's also empty. No CD drive, no USB connected, and it's still doing its stuff all from the ISO image file that we just selected. So it's a 100% working method. So now it's at 77%. I'm going to complete. Now the installation has been done, the computer is rebooting at this point. Here is the Windows 11 logo, as you can see. And boot animation, Windows 11 is booting up. Now our computer has been booted up, so now we have to finish up the setup here. So as you can see, Windows has been completely installed and we are doing it for setup. So I hope this video was beneficial for you. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, like this video, and if you have any suggestions or queries, please comment below. Thanks for watching.